So today I'm talking about a P052A code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P052A code? Well, it's a cold start, a camshaft position timing over advanced bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a camshaft position sensor. It's monitoring the camshaft as it spins and it's reporting this information back to the computer. And for some reason, when the engine's cold, the sensor is reporting to the computer that the timing's more advanced than it should be. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, there's going to be two banks on an engine. Bank one is always beside the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location and you locate the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences between engines, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, then you're only going to have one bank. The one thing to note about this code for vehicles that have variable valve timing, which is very common these days, is that if there's an issue with the variable valve timing, like a component's gone bad or something like that, then that can cause this P052A code. Also keep in mind that the variable valve timing can be named differently depending on the manufacturer. Components can be named differently and there could be different types of designs and things like this. So be sure to keep that in mind. Also, the A inside this code is going to point to the intake camshaft. If you just have a single cam, then this won't matter. But if you have an engine with dual overhead cams, then there's going to be two cams on each bank of the engine. And if that's the case, then the A is going to point to the intake and the exhaust side would be the B camshaft. And so what would be some possible causes of a P052A code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. The computer controls the variable valve timing using oil pressure. So oil is flowing through all the variable valve timing components. And so if the engine oil is low, it's really dirty, the wrong oil type was used, anything like that, then that can affect the variable valve timing and that can cause issues. So the first thing to do is go check the engine oil and be sure that it's good. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing. There's like a bad variable valve timing solenoid, sometimes called an oil control valve. There's an issue with the actuator or phaser or something like that. The most common component to go bad in variable valve timing is going to be the solenoid that controls the oil pressure flowing through everything. Usually one of these go bad, you'll get another code, like a variable valve timing solenoid type code. But when there is a possible issue with the variable valve timing, the first thing to go and do is to check that VVT solenoid. And again, if you have dual overhead cam engine, then it's going to be the solenoid on the intake side. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on with the variable valve timing. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad timing chain or timing belt or possibly a tensioner. And basically a timing chain or timing belt is going to have timing marks like right here and right here. Then all these timing marks, they all need to line up correctly or else that's going to cause issues. And if a timing belt or timing chain slips and this timing marks a little bit before or a little bit after, then that's going to throw everything off and that's going to cause issues. Also, another thing that happens with these timing chains and timing belts is that when they get old, they could become stretched out. And so at certain times, it could just throw things off just a little bit which is going to throw out a code. So it's also possible that that timing chain or timing belt is really old and just stretched out. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad timing chain, timing belt, or possibly a tensioner that holds everything tight. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad camshaft position sensor. Although if you're just getting this P052A code, this isn't going to be too common, but it is possible that that camshaft position sensor has gone bad and it's just reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. Although usually when that camshaft position sensor does go bad, usually you're going to get another code. Like for example, a P000A, A camshaft position, slow response, bank one. If you got this code and you got the P052A code, then in that case, it might be a good idea to go do some tests on that camshaft position sensor and be sure that it's good. Because the last thing that could cause this is that that camshaft position sensor is having some kind of problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P052A code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.